Hi, it's Steve Carson from Penn here on The Searcher with Tackle Tip Thursday. A lot of you have maybe not been tuna fishing before. Searcher is a great choice to go out for your first trip. Multi, even if it's a multi-day trip, don't be afraid. The food is great. The crew is great. Uh, they will walk you through everything. And you certainly can either rent or borrow some of the tackle that you're going to need because tuna fishing is kind of like golf. You can't just go out with one rod. You got to go out with the right selection of things to do the job at hand. But when you absolutely have nothing, you've been a trout angler or a bass angler, or maybe you've just fished off the pier all your life and now you're going out tuna fishing, what's the first combo that you buy? And that's what we call your 40 pound rig. It's the all around rig. And what I've got here is a Penn Fathom 2, two speed, 25 narrow. And the way I set that up, is I filled it about three quarters of the way up with 65 pound braid. And I've already checked with the crew of the searcher. They like about a 50 yard top shot of monofilament. So that's what's on top here. You can't really see the braid, but it's in there. So there's 50 yards of monofilament on top of about 350 yards of braid. And that won't catch a 200 pound tuna. That's not what it's for. But when you have zero tuna gear, what this will cover it's a little bit heavy when the tuna are, are only running about 15 pounds, heavier than you probably need, but it'll still work. And as they go up the scale, 30, 40, 50, 60 pounds, even if they're 70, 80 pounds, this is the perfect rig for that 40 pound test. Now you can't really, well, I don't know if the, if the camera can pick this up, but I've got about a four foot piece of fluorocarbon tied on there with, people always ask, a four turn surgeon's knot. Now, if you're not sure, Art will tell you and he will remind you. Make sure that the length of the fluorocarbon is such that the knot does not go through your tip guide when you're making a cast. And that's a little bit different on everybody's casting style, but trust me, if you forget, Art will remind you, okay? And then the PS de resistance, I'm gonna show it to you and I'm gonna show you the package. The thing that makes all this work are the owner Mutu circle hooks. A size two or even a size four if you can find them. They're kind of hard to find. The twos are perfectly fine. And that is a very small hook because tuna don't like big hooks. And it will hold even in a big tuna. If you hook a 60, 70, 80 pounder, you think that little hook won't hold them? It will hold them. I've done it a lot. Uh, sometimes even bigger ones, but that's a whole nother story. So your first rig is gonna be your 40 pound live bait rig, pen, Fathom 25 narrow, and I've got, I like an eight foot rod. Okay, so it's a little bit longer than some people like because I like to cast. If you know you're never gonna cast, you can get by with a shorter rod, but you know what? Everybody should learn how to cast. And uh, this particular rod is rated for 25 to 50 pound test line, which means again, as we've discussed before, that 40 pound test is right in the middle of the line rating. So get your 40 pound rig ready, two speed reel, Come out on the searcher, catch your first tuna.